Most motorcyclists wear protective clothing when they ride a motorcycle. Clothing is designed to protect a rider from impact and abrasion injury during a crash. Motorcycle clothing abrasion protection is normally evaluated using a machine in a laboratory. This research shows us the relationship between the road surface and a laboratory machine. To do this, we've developed a vehicle mounted abrasion tester that is the same as the laboratory machine but can test on any road surface. We're out here today doing on-road abrasion testing. This is a very important link that helps us to understand how actual road surfaces behave compared to the laboratory test machine. What we have here is a machine very similar to the laboratory test machine, but it enables us to drop the sample onto the road surface rather than onto a sandpaper belt in the laboratory. Roads are very different depending on whether you're in a rural environment or an urban environment. Out here, predominantly, you're going to find chip seal or spray seal surfaces. And these tend to be far more aggressive on clothing than what asphalt in an urban environment will be. So what I'm doing here is connecting up the, the copper stop wire that stops the test at the end of the abrasion. It sits in between the clothing layer and the skin layer on the test rig. And when the clothing wears through, the wire is snagged by the road surface and breaks, stopping the test. So the next part is to take our test sample. We have a piece of denim, we have a piece of Kevlar, and we have a piece of comfort mesh. And these are put onto the test head and our test head simulates an elbow or a shoulder. And now our test machine's ready to test. The sample will be lowered to 50 millimetres above the ground and then as we're driving along the road, it will be dropped down onto the ground and we'll measure how long it takes to form a hole. There are two main road surfaces in Australia. Asphalt is commonly used in an urban environment and some motorways. Chip seal is commonly used in a rural environment on an A, B or C road. We started by testing normal clothing like denim jeans, tradies pants, jeggings and hoodies. These burst open on impact with the road surface, offering little protection. Next, we tested a number of motorcycle clothing protective materials. The 600 denier polyester and 500 denier nylon performed similarly to each other. The laboratory machine was similar to chip seal for both samples. The heavier nylon fabric had better abrasion times. 1.4 mm thick leather performed better than protective textiles on chip seal. Leather also had similar abrasion times on the laboratory machine. The leather performed well on most surfaces. Leather typically has three to seven seconds of abrasion resistance, but riders should avoid thin, supple leathers and suedes, as these offer less protection. Protective denim garments hold a dominant position in the market. In this work, a pair of two layer Kevlar jeans were used. Slide times for the protective denim were much longer than the protective textiles. This protective denim performed well, but remember, not all protective denims are equal. Single layer protective denims perform more like protective textiles. Multi-layer protective denims typically perform better than single layer garments. So to wrap up the uh, testing on chip seal, we can look at the four normal clothing samples along the front, the leggings, the hoodie, and the tradie pants just burst open on impact. Where if we look at the, the traditional denim, it lasted a little bit longer, but still got a very large hole in it quite quickly. When we go to the, the motorcycle protective clothing, we can see that each of these performed significantly better than the non-motorcycle clothing. However, when we went to two layers or the leather, we see significantly longer abrasion times. And this is clear with this protective denim, for instance, where we have some small holes forming, but quite a large amount of protection still present. And similar with the leather, where you can see whilst it's made a hole, there's still quite a significant amount of material between you and the road. This chart shows the time to hole for each of the clothing types on chip seal. The longer the line, the higher the protection.
Testing today is on asphalt. Asphalt is a smoother surface when compared with chip seal and is predominantly found in an urban environment in cities, towns and on freeways. Whilst the normal clothing lasts longer on asphalt, most hold quickly or burst open on impact with the road surface. The abrasion times for protective textiles on asphalt were longer than that for chip seal. The longer sliding times resulted in more heat generation and melting of abrasion sample edges. The leather and protective denims both had long times to wear through on asphalt. The times for asphalt indicated that it is 4.5 times less abrasive than chip seal. Today we were testing on an asphalt surface and each of the test samples have abrasion similar to what you would find on asphalt. The holes are much more even because the asphalt surface is less abrasive and it takes longer to wear through. We saw samples such as the leather and the protective denim last for quite a considerable period of time. This chart shows the time to hold for each of the clothing types on asphalt. The longer the line, the higher the protection. This research was done to understand how well motorcycle clothing might perform when it hits the road in a crash. Asphalt was found to be four and a half times less abrasive than chip seal. The laboratory machine was found to perform in a similar manner to chip seal. Protective textiles performed poorly on both surfaces. The findings recommended that impact protectors be worn in shoulders, elbows, hips, knees and backs to improve abrasion protection, especially in protective textile garments. The results show that it is better to wear clothing with high abrasion resistance like leather and protective denim when riding in a rural environment. Results from the study have been used in design of the MotorCat program. Wear all the gear, all the time.